from late mail to stolen mail and sometimes even no mail at all to a local mail processing center not functioning as it should. Mail issues continue to cause utter frustration for Central Virginia. In the past couple of years, we've heard from many of you at home who have dealt with mail troubles for months. Tonight, United States Postal Service mail carriers are joining in on the conversation, explaining how all of this is impacting them too. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joins us live in the Digital Center now. And Roland, what concerns have you heard? Well, Deanna, heavy workloads, long hours and harsh conditions are just a short list of the concerns I've heard. These only taken to the next level as our regional postal service facility faces some serious challenges. For nearly a decade, Richie Todd has helped to make sure your mail makes it to your mailbox on time. Over the years, he says the agency has changed, but I hate to say not really for the better. This week, pictures from an audit of the regional Sandston facility shows how an effort to improve mail delivery led to a significant decrease in performance, the worst in the nation. And then I, don't, I did show you those. Todd says yeah. these regional challenges have not only impacted residents, but workers too by increasing their workload. Usually it gets heavy at Christmas and it, it dies down after New Year's and things back normal. This is still going on. It's like it's still Christmas in there. More work, often leading to late nights for carriers. We've had carriers like consistently going over 12 hours working. Eventually taking a toll on their physical health and safety. I've torn ligaments in my ankle in the past. I've injured my knee, I've injured my back, I've injured my arm. I hate the idea of potentially being a casualty one night. The agency recently emphasized its commitment for the safety of mail carriers after more than 5,000 reports of theft and violent crime. Despite these efforts, I feel very uneasy about it, but I mean, I, I really feel like there should be more done to address it. Now here locally, Richie says he, along with others, have filed grievances and contacted local lawmakers to help improve conditions. Live in the Digital Center, Roland Wilson, 8 News.